hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video we are going to learn how we can combine multiple files from multiple folder using a very powerful microsoft excel called power query and for this scenario i have prepared 10 folders and from each folder we have five files with almost three columns so let's open our excel and see how we can combine those files then from your excel you will select data once you select data you can choose the get data then you go to from file then from folder this is where you are going to import your files from the main folder and our main folder is called health facility and it is located at the desktop now you can select that main folder of which within this main folder we have all those subfolders then click open and here is uh, what the magic happen your power query will scan all the files within those subfolders and these are the name of the file within those subfolders now you can go to transform data so you can make some transformation of these files or you can just select combine and transform uh, with this selection it will assist you to combine all the files and to do any other transformation if you want to transform or to do any cleaning of this file now let's select combine and transform uh, for our power query to combine all those uh, files within the subfolders now we can select the sheet uh, by selecting this sheet that means we have selected the sample of the excel sheet uh, that is within those subfolders this is the sample and there's other uh, 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 files that you can select from here and you can see from each site we have uh, uh, sites and we have levels sites are those subfolders and levels are the name of the files within that subfolders now we have this site number one uh, which contain uh, five files and we have site number 10 here and uh, number two you can see it is uh, randomly arranged now you can just click ok then you will see how power query will open uh, that uh, file for the transformation then once uh, it has opened you will see these are the column that we are in those uh, uh, 10 uh, those five files located in each uh, uh, folder so uh, the names the first column is the name of the file now you may see this are uh, level one you can you may want to just combine uh, level one or level two that the name of the file let's say from each folder you just need a, a level one or category one of the site so from here you can just unselect and just a filter level one by doing this that means you will select the file uh, which is level one from all the 10 folders but for our case we need all the uh, levels now we can uncheck and select all then click ok but sometimes to avoid a uh, replication of the steps because we have filtered we have to uncheck this filter so we can uh, delete that step now because we need uh, to know from uh, this are the patient we need to know each patient is from which level of the facility now we can leave this column with the combination of other column that are within the excel file so to make it clean you can just uh, remove the dot uh, x lsx so we can have level one patient number age sex and test results to do that just select the, that column then go to transform replace value then from there you can just write the dot x 
L is X, then you will press R with the null value. Once you do that, then when you export this file, it will come, it will add another column. So instead of having these four columns, now you will have five columns. We can tame this uh, site level. Site level. Once you're done, go to home, then uh, close and load. This will uh, load the file back to your Excel. Now you have combined all the five levels from each from each folder of those uh, 10 folders. This is your single file and your complete data set. Uh, to transform or to send this file to the other person, you can just select all, copy, and paste to another extra sheet. But if you want to use by your own, then you can leave it in the power query. So in case you have another new file or new folder, you will just go to data, then you click refresh, then all the changes are will be reflected to this file. Thanks for listening and if you have enjoyed this uh, lesson, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time uh, visiting my channel.